Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jaser. In this video, I'm going to solve another problem at bfe.dev. It's uh, about composition. We need to create a pipe. Let's take a look at what the problem is. It's uh, 11 on the code problems. Coding problems, 11. So what is composition? It is actually not that difficult to understand. See Dan's explanation. What the fuck is a composition? Well, explains pretty well. So please take a look. Um, here we are asked to create a pipe function. We change multiple functions together to create a new function. So suppose we had some uh, simple functions like this times plus. Our pipe would be used to generate new functions. Well, yeah, we'll chain them up, right? So this is times two and uh, times three. So it becomes something a uh, formula like this. It's time uh, this is times two and plus three and times four. So with a parenthesis, notice that the order matters. So time by, uh, times two, uh -huh, subtract with three and divide by four. So actually, the pipe sh what, what the pipe does is that it accepts a bunch of functions and return a new function, and it will call each function. The result of each function will be passed to the next function uh, function as a parameter, right? So that's the meaning of chain chaining. Okay. So let's uh, uh, from the example we know we need to return a function. Uh huh. And we're told that the uh, function the, the will have only one uh, parameter. So let's say the arg. And we need to return a result, right? So let's say the result, the default result will be itself. And we just trigger the functions one by one, right? For func of funks. Okay, uh, result would be func result, right? Uh, about what about the these? The function might be used some somewhere else, somewhere else. So I'll say call this result. There will be only one result, right? So it's okay if not. We just need to use the spread operator. Okay. I'll say I will just return the result. Well, that's it. I think it should work. Yeah, it's easy. Uh, one thing is that uh, take a look at these uh, forms of this uh, program that we have a result, we have a for loop of some uh, array elements, and then we need to modify the result uh, by doing something to the uh, the elements of the array. So it's a typical, how can I say, a typical reduce situation, right? We could use reduce. So just to rewrite it to return the function, maybe we sh no, we don't need the uh, uh, yeah we need to refunction the function. Uh, okay, this, and then when we are doing this, we just use reduce. Okay, so return box reduce. We uh, we need to change the function from left to right. So um, the initial result will be the arg. Uh huh. And then this is the result. This is the func. Okay, because we use the arrow function, these here will be these here. So no problem. We we'll say the uh, func call this result. Yeah, and we return it. Return it. So the result of this function will be uh, treated that uh, will be passed to the next function as a parameter. Cool. So I can remove this one. Yeah, so I think it should work. Great. Submit it. So okay, so that's all for this uh, this one. Hope it helps. So for, for anything like a bunch of functions, uh, try to try to think of think uh, try to use the reduce, right? Yeah, it will help how, how should I say? It may be not that easy to understand, but it will simplify the logic, actually. Cool. Hope it helps. See you next time. Bye-bye.